concerns are growing about a rare polio-like illness, mostly in kids. It's showing up across the nation. It is really frightening, and tonight a local family reveals how they received their daughter's diagnosis. News 6 anchor Kirsten O'Connor has their message in a story all new at 11. On first glance, it's from Disney. Sophia yeah. Gary looks and sounds just like any other preschooler. Mm -hmm. So Sophia was a very healthy two and a half year old before this happened and she had a cold, um, but this particular cold, she woke up one day and said, mommy, I can't walk. This is Pinky Sunshine. Amanda and her husband Joseph couldn't understand what was wrong. We would just kind of pick her up and she would just collapse. That was two years ago. And after nine days in the hospital and trips to two different doctors, Amanda still didn't think Sophia had been properly diagnosed. It wasn't until consulting with a specialist in Dallas that the Garys were finally able to zero in on Sophia's exact illness. He took a look at her records and he said, this is a textbook case of AFM. AFM, acute flaccid myelitis. It's a disease that may develop in a number of ways, including as a result of a viral infection. And though not caused by the polio virus, AFM has an eerie similarity to polio. AFM affects the spinal cord. Symptoms can include limb weakness, facial drooping, and trouble swallowing or speaking. The Centers for Disease Control says that over the last four years, there have been 386 cases of AFM across the U.S. So far in 2018, the CDC says they've confirmed 62 cases across 22 states and are now actively investigating 155 other possible cases. It's not new. It's been reported worldwide, and we're coming to grips with it in the last several years. Dr. Ron Davis runs the Pediatric Neurology and Epilepsy Center of Central Florida. He says doctors simply don't know what triggers AFM and because of that. Vaccines theoretically could be very helpful just like it's been for polio. So if we could isolate whatever the virus is or the autoimmune response caused by the virus and then develop a vaccine, that would be wonderful. And for Sophia and her family, that is what keeps them going. We were devastated and we still are to an extent devastated. Um, it's been two years. Um, so we have grown to accept it a little bit more, but we still hold a ton of hope that there will be a cure down the road. In Orlando, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.